go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you killed. Other time. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video of The Walking Dead. Previously what have we done is uh, it's simple, long story short. We rescued Clementine and we also helped the two people who were basically stuck for a while. We helped them and they gave us a ride to these friendly people right now. We met Kenny, we met uh, Katja and we met... Uh, uh, Harsho, yeah, maybe it was that's his name. I don't know, I cannot remember. So, uh, if you enjoyed the previous episode, so please let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this one till the end, well, um, let's let's just not lose time, okay? Let's just not lose time. Hey, Harsho, was that his name? Harsho, is that how you pronounce it? I hope it is. <coughs> you should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You yeah. agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh... No family. I had a betta fish on my desk at the university. I hope someone remembered to feed him. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. Uh... Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Uh-oh. Can I give you a piece of advice? Uh, sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Then at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh! What happened? Go! I'll get my gun! What just happened? Oh, jeez! Oh no! Oh no! God damn it, kid! God damn it, duck! Oh no! Wait, what? Oh, I have to choose. Uh, uh, save the kid! Save the kid! Can I save? Uh, can I save? Uh, wait, wait, wait! What? Okay. Get off him! Wait, can I save uh, Sean as well? Wait, uh, there has to be something. Uh, help! Attack him! Fuck you! Get off that kid! Oh, now let's save Sean. Uh, let's help Sean! Yeah, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming! Oh no! Oh no. Get out. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. Sorry. 
Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you! You didn't even try to help. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. I was. Just go. Get out and never come back. I thought I disabled the achievements, goddammit. Well, tried to save both. It was either Sean or the kid. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. I mean, you could have just dropped the kid and helped me. But, alright. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now this is about to hit the fan real well, quick. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Are we out of gas? Uh oh. <laughs> really? What? Oh! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Um, yeah, uh oh. <clears throat> you better run. No, 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 get off the kid, get off the kid. Wait, what? Who shot? Oh! Jesus Christ. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We have kids. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. The boy? What is it? I... I have to pee. Oh, Jesus. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just oh, ran out there. Um... I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Just be quiet. Can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. Hey, 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 hey. My dead body will dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. Reason, we reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. You didn't Don't side with Ken. Fuck! Everyone, <clears throat> chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. If it was your girl, yeah. Deal. Hold Do up. You? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? 
There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. Uh oh, uh, uh, he's just a boy. Deal with it. What do what? And that boy is he's just a boy. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Hit him. Can you stop him? Stop him. Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus. Oh, oh man. Uh oh. Oh sh Save save her Move out the fucking way, lady. <coughs> Come on, lady, get up. Where is it? Oh, claim it time. Claim it time. Up. Kick his ass. Help! Help! What are you gonna look at me like that, huh? Just just kill him already. Thank you. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Oh no. Stay quiet. Shit. Why did you shoot? They're gonna get in. Shut up. Huh? Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger oh, finger. My. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, what? What happened? What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. Oh, now you're trying to help. Uh, <laughs> looking for. Uh, we'll do it somehow. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh. That'll be great. That'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, <coughs> I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Uh, she looked... Is that actually the military? Why weren't they helping before? What is this? Easter egg hunt, motel... IT gym? Is that an IT gym? That the dad just said IT gym? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Okay. Oh, huh. Huh. Okay, let's sure. have a look. Let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. 
Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Or yeah. Alright. And now, is there money outside? Jesus. How are they not even seeing us right now? We smell good, at least. For them. Oof. Just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Uh huh. Fuck. <laughs> I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah. Uh, so. It's a combination lock. Wait, can I look at it? Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Uh, for what? For a store? Wait, what is yeah, that? That's a hasty fortification job over there. <laughs> it didn't work. Ooh, this guy. What is that? Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear on us, huh? B. Everett. Oh shit! What? Do you know that guy? He could be drugstore employee, kind of his family face. Kind of, he has a familiar face. Ah, oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and. Shut up, dog. <laughs> Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Yeah. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Uh huh. What is this over there? Hardware store. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh, they tried, and but they didn't. Uh, what is this? <laughs> TV store. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Yeah. Oh, this. I can't reach that brick. God damn it, Lee. <laughs> just, <laughs> just put your hand through the gate and take it I mean that's all I can just see right now so <clears throat> so everything is checked so that guy Lee's, Lee's brother oh like I was thinking about that but uh, I didn't even think about it oh wait uh, we should search that guy over there huh? how do you how did you end up over here moved here to live with my uncle. He just tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. <laughs> what about you? Uh, just ended up here. I just sort of ended up here. Oh, cool. You've got that little girl with you. Yeah, I'm just taking care of her. All right. Um. Okay, let's go in. Let's head back inside. Okay. Nothing interesting over here. So. Oh, I just got a comment. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, Juice Box. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Bro, this isn't Fortnite, but I'll allow it. <laughs> Literally, I I typed the Lee's name. And uh, he was like, okay, I'm gonna just joke around, possibly. And he was like, yeah, let me add Fortnite. <laughs> oh, God damn it, dude. Wait, what? Are these my pictures? Are these mine? Oh, uh, cards. Greeting cards. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> uh, you can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Ducky. <laughs> I love the name. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. 
says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Yeah, how's Duck doing? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's scared. Uh, uh, she's good, I think. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Uh, are you guys all right? Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh... Wait, did I was were these actually my family on the picture? Wait, I'm gonna say the third one. They uh, own this place. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? <sighs> it happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Uh, I mean, console. Try to let it go. Yeah, just let her go, buddy. But actually, in reality, um, <clears throat> wait, was uh, so. Wait a minute. Harsha was right next to me. He heard that, and. Uh, why did he not actually just shoot the zombies really quickly? And also, how is uh, how is Clementine not uh, fucking literally? Oh, there's an energy bar. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. We'll do our damnedest. How how is she not deaf, by the way? Because you know how bullets literally. If you're in a close to posi a p p position like this, we're all fucked. Oh, energy bar. Um, okay, we have two energy bars. Wait, can we search the store? Let's take it. Let's take these bars. <coughs> oh, got it. Uh, ATM? Is this an ATM? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Uh, take the money. Take the money after the zombie apocalypse. We can spend it. <laughs> uh, full Looks supply. Like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Yeah. What about the news? Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Yeah. Uh, so, Doug. Uh, what's up, Carl? You're uh, Carly. A good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Uh, what's for you working on? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. <clears throat> <laughs> this radio looks very fucking old. Power? Hmm, nothing. Um, volume? Uh, I mean, why? Why did I try the volume? Literally, if I cannot power this thing, wait. What about this? Oh, the antenna. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> you know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. These two. <laughs> Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. 
<laughs> so you stand it there for literally fucking weeks or days trying to figure out how this thing works and you were like um yeah i did not check if there's batteries in it i don't know how to get it to work god damn it <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Just a serious. If the thing does not work, and if it's like that, I was even thinking about this uh, niche just a second ago. Wait, what about the <coughs> the dickhead who literally almost killed a duck's? I mean, Kenny's child. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. How's he doing? I'm not sure. I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad... That didn't help. What? Uh, what do you think uh, about all this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people and turning them into more... More of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Uh, what's wrong, what's with wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. Yeah. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. <sighs> and so he... He... He got a temper? He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah. He doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Uh, yeah, we got kids, families. We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Yeah. You from here? You from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Uh, was anyone here when you guys got to got the pharmacy? Uh, yeah. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh... We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. <clears throat> Alright. So, I guess Lily, Lily could be actually nice, but uh, her dad has a temper that uh, literally make, uh, make him look like a total asshole. And he was an asshole, and so he, he didn't even bother looking and that kind of stuff. Okay, for this type of scandal, you know, like for this type of stuff, uh, uh oh. <sighs> even though he's an asshole, we might as well just try and save him. But even after that, if we save him and he's still an asshole, then fuck that guy. Literally, just fuck him. Alive inside. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh god. Can't think about them in here. Oh no. So this was his parents' shop. Jeez. This door leads to the back alley. This sucks. Uh what about oh okay. Uh oh, medkit. 
let's check out the med kit then. Wait, Clementine. How you doing? Okay. <laughs> the short answer. Okay. All right. Uh, everyone seems okay to you. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. Yeah. There's that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Uh, have you heard from Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. So, uh, what about this? Authorized employees. What is that? How this thing called in English? What's that? This was my dad's cane. Cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Wow. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's are smart like that. Alright. Oh, we're not going in yet. Uh, med kit, med kit. Oh, this. There's a photo over there. Take it. Oh, oh, that's me on the left. Well, that's Lee. <sighs> Find anything? Uh oh. Uh, just a picture. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. Uh oh. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh, no. no. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Oh, Jesus. The shadow. So, I guess to not piss her the fuck off then, because uh, she'll tell the truth. I ought to clear a path to open <clears throat> that door. Yeah, okay, let's move this Better thing. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh... Mm. Uh, things have been... How are you How doing? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No. It's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Hopefully. <clears throat> oh, the first aid kit, I forgot. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Uh, let's not talk about that. Let's just move this. Oh, damn it, I oh, meant to press 2. Okay, I'm sorry. It's fine. All right, a little further. I meant to say, I meant to do the <sighs> second one. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Uh, I hope not. It's just complicated. 
or maybe they're dead I don't know I don't know about this I want to blame them uh, I hope not or they're dead so one of the two I should choose uh, but let's not be let's not just uh, it's just complicated I hope not it's just complicated that's all why it just is but you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got in some trouble, but I keep... Uh, but keep that between us. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Alright. Ow! Oh! What happened? Oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Okay, uh... Let me help with this. I'll find a... you a bandage. Yep, there's a first aid kit for that job over here. Oh, there's a bed. My parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <sighs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Yeah, what about this TV? Dad, get the remote for that thing in here someplace. Oh! Oh, wait. Okay, first aid kit. Yep, let's take the bandages. Let's help the kid. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, they'll find us. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Oh, wait, I give the guy the walkie-talkie, did I? Uh, bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Uh, bandage. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Here you go. I should not be hurting too much in a bit. All right, let's get the pharmacy. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out in the street. Oh, fuck my life! <laughs> really? Ah, oh, damn it! Back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Wait, uh, can I cancel it? Lee. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh. Da -da. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. At least I told the truth. Damn it. Uh, wait. Yeah. Let's talk to her. Maybe she knows about I'm that. Get back to him. Oh, sounds good. Okay then. Uh, wait, what about the TV remote? Wait, was it somewhere inside here? I hope it was. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. In here someplace. Oh, is it the drawer? Is it the drawer? Aha! Found it. Come on, take it. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Mm-hmm. Can we check out the TV? That's what I figured. Uh huh. Wait, I fi I figured it out. The TV store. Let's go out. The TV store. So, I'll meet you outside in just a bit. Doug, where the fuck Try are you? Some rest, hon. Yep. How can I with those things out there? Oh, uh, what is this? Battery. Oh, <gasps> my battery, 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 battery. Yes, 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 yes. And, uh, let's help her with the radio, at least before we go outside. Doug, you better prepare your goddamn ass because we're gonna be going outside. 
This battery should fit the radio. It's Sweet. only one. Thanks. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay. So, we still are able... What the fuck? Okay. Uh, oh, wait, battery? Another one. Yes! Uh, I hope, like, uh, we have to do all the things before we continue, because otherwise, uh, I don't want to actually just, you know, just, uh, let's give up the battery. Should be able to get it to work now. Uh, let's hope. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Dumbass. Dumbass. Power. Nothing. Huh? Uh, wait, what? Oh. It this needs four batteries? Oh. Le uh, what was her name? I forgot. The uh, uh, Carly. Could you please tell me how the fuck did you not even able to do that? There we go. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals. All right, all right. Zombie apocalypse. The station is okay. Want to go have a look around outside? Uh huh. My my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Okay, he's dead. Look around. Okay. He dead. That motherfucker dead. Oh, this time no cutscene. Thank you. Uh, TV, TV remote with this. Yes. Come on. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do. What's that? What is it? Can you program it? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. What the? You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. You smart ass. Smart motherfucker. Yep. He well did it. fucking done, Doug. <laughs> all that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Yeah. Damn it. Alright, so I guess we have to do something else. Alright, so wait, let's go back inside. Let's back inside. Okay. We're losing some time. Our time is ticking out. So got it. Hopefully it's saved. Yes, it's saved. So I'm gonna end it off over here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. We're gonna make a short episodes here and there. I'm not gonna do it above an hour long because obviously this will be even longer, longer, longer. So uh, we did a lot at least, and the video has two views already. Thank you very much for that. And uh, juice box, could you please not uh, fuck around? <laughs> Thank you all for watching this video, hopefully you did enjoy it, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and if you want to stay awesome, stay safe, stay tuned to whatever, and as always, see you in the next video. Bye bye ladies and gentlemen.